But no, Peppers moving forward. Ginger's looking for second here, but Piggy Smalls goes in between the middle of them, and he's going to push forward and get second. He's robbed Ginger of the second place. Meanwhile, Pepper has to get first if she's got any chance here. Is she going to do it past Piggy Smalls? She does, and Mexico's hope is alive right now. Pepper pulls in front here as they approach the first hurdle. They clear it, but Ginger does not. Ginger crashes into the first hurdle and leaves a huge opportunity for Pepper to finish earlier. And she's going to do it, I think. Yes, she does. And she wins season three. Hello and welcome to League of Pigs. It's season four already. Can you believe it? And before we start into round one, just a bit of housekeeping to do. First of all, the handicap situation. The league continues to confirm that the handicap for Piggy Smalls will stay in place. However, they are going to reduce the number of races in the season that Piggy Smalls is behind a handicap. Second of all, Ginger will be trialled to go behind the handicap they are resistant to Ginger going behind because she is a lot lighter than Piggy Smalls and it really was normally about a weight advantage, but you will see Ginger behind that handicap occasionally. Anyway, let's crack straight into round one. The first race of the season begins as Piggy Smalls and Pepper get out nicely, but Ginger's just behind them as well as they approach the first hurdle. Piggy Smalls clears it nicely and he's on his own here. It's not even a quick timer for being brutally honest, but he does solidify the win with that second jump. And Ginger gets second, of course she does. She manages to snatch seven points off a poor start. We're used to seeing that. But Piggy Smalls capitalises on what we have to frankly say is a sleepy start by all of them at the beginning of this season. Pepper drops back on that first hurdle. We kind of expecting that nowadays with Pepper. Bear continues to look like a non-starter as well. But let's see how we run further on in the round. Bear Trotsky is now the lightest pig in the competition. She's just such a slim-built pig. She's also next to the 5-inch hurdle or 10-inch hurdle, depending on the orientation of it. The league's taken that off the track. I wonder why. But Bear doesn't have time to think about such things. She needs to focus on her performance. Let's see how she does in race two. The second race begins and Bear and Pepper come out forward here, but Bear really gets a nice start and that's a new hurdle type we've seen here. And Bear's got a sweet spot for it, it seems, because she's going nicely over them and so is Hoshi as well. Ginger claims the final podium position. Bear gets her first win of season four and it's on a different racetrack as well. Race radios just told me that is an eight inch wooden hurdle. So it's much narrower than the sleepers we're used to seeing. The pigs are going to find this quite easy, I would think but it is still a little bit more difficult than the five inch starting hurdles that they're used to. So let's see how that changes the competition in this season. But Bear is having a lovely time over him as you can see. And for some reason she wanted to win that race. The gate is open and the pigs waste no time in heading into the garden midway through a round of racing. And at the moment they're sticking together, but it won't be long until they're in completely different areas in the garden. And that means that someone from the league is going to have to go around and individually remind the pigs that they still have a few races left before the day finishes. And it does slow down the process somewhat and requires extra staff at the league to manage the athletes. Anyway, let's head over to the next race. The race starts and everybody's scrapping for first here actually but Pepper's out in front now. Ginger takes over because of the hurdle but Hoshi's in second here. Oh that's water and they've stopped immediately. And Hoshi's the first to come to his senses and he sets off. Ginger's the second one as well. She lost a place through that. But what a curveball. Look at Pear and Pepper. They are in absolute disarray with that water. They've thrown a huge curveball, not only to the pigs, but the fans as well. Just look at them stop dead on a dime. They have no idea what's coming. And the water hits them and they instantly freeze. And the league has come out strongly here. And they've said that no. We're changing it up. We're not just throwing in one new hurdle, an 18th, sure, whatever. But no, we're throwing a whole load of water at you. Let's see how you tackle that. It's the League of Pigs champion. Can you believe it? Pepper Sanchez has become somewhat of a people's champion in Mexico. They sent her over knowing full well that she was very unlikely to win anything against such large pigs from other countries. 
the league simply doesn't fit her style, which is sprints the majority of the time. It's a very obstacle-heavy competition. But regardless, from a personal standpoint, Pepper can do no wrong in my eyes because I wrote her off in the beginning and she's already proved me wrong. Anyway, let's head back to the paddock. The pin's pulled and they all get a good start apart from Bear, but it's Smalls, Ginger and Pepper at the front here. But now it's just Ginger and Smalls as they get to the water. But all of them stop apart from Piggy Smalls, who drives forward. Hoshi gets his act together next. And that means he's in second place. And Ginger has lost two positions to that water. She is not liking it at all. But talking about not liking it, Bear is having an absolute nightmare with that water. She does not like it one bit. She barely manages to wade through it. Look at them as they cross that first hurdle, but as they approach, all of them, including Ginger Stop, apart from Piggy Smalls, he drives forward. Even Pepper starts to move a bit, but Bear is barely moving in that water. She is finding it extremely uncomfortable, and Russia's problems are going from bad to worse in this competition. And if this continues, they can write off season four right here. Out of all the pigs, Ho Shuin Q wants a variety in his diet the most, and that means he goes off exploring to find new vegetation. And one of those spots is in the corner of the racing paddock by the rocks and the paving slabs. If we are ever to look for Ho Shi, we will check there first. Anyway, enough with that trivia, let's head over to race five. The door drops down and all of them get decent starts here apart from Hoshi as they approach the first hurdle and now it's just Ginger, Piggy Smalls and Bear who are leading the charge. Ginger's out but now Piggy Smalls pulls ahead and he takes it at the line and it's not a bad time either for two hurdles. They seem to be liking this 8 inch hurdle. Piggy Smalls does well to get ahead of Ginger in that race and actually he's really scoring well in this first round so maybe there's a comeback here from Piggy Smalls. We'll see, time will tell. But really the greatest loser there is Pepper, who is the only one that seems to slow down dramatically over these hurdles. Let's see what happens over the next few races. We've caught Ginger and the others in the act of rooting, which is to dig up the grass. And this is causing a problem and some friction with the league, who don't want their racing paddock to be dug up. So at the moment the league is trying to find a solution in which the pigs can still dig, but their racetrack isn't ruined. At the moment, no such solution has come forward. And so the pigs are causing quite a lot of destruction. Anyway, let's head over to the second to last race. Race six begins and they all get good starts apart from Ginger who's trapped behind there. But Hoshi and Smalls push forward as they approach the water obstacle together. Both of them push through that water, but Piggy Smalls is out in front here. But then Hoshi gets a burst of speed and pips Piggy Smalls at the post. And that's a very good time as well. This is the third time they've come to the water obstacle. And you can see that the times are dramatically reducing as the pigs are getting more and more used to it. Especially the two big lads. They are having a great time in this water. Meanwhile, the three girls are not liking it one bit. It's great news for Japan and the USA. But everyone else needs to catch up and get used to this water quickly. The tide seems to be turning for Piggy Smalls as the league reduced the amount of handicap races he has to do. And at the same time, this new water obstacle looks like it's playing in his favour because three of the pigs absolutely hate it and only himself and Hoshi are unfazed by it. It'll be interesting to see how this season plays out for Piggy Smalls. All we can do is wait and see. For now, let's head over to the final race. The final race starts and Pepper in particular gets a good start but Piggy Smalls catches up with her and then Pepper stumbles and now falls back so it's Piggy Smalls and Ginger for the win here but Piggy Smalls is just a stout ahead of Ginger and I think he's got it at the line there. Has he? Yes he has and that caps off a fantastic round of pig racing for Piggy Smalls and that shoots him straight to the top of the league a position we haven't seen him in for quite some time and the USA will be very very happy with that. So it looks like the three favourites for this season are Ginger Hoshi and in particular Piggy Smalls. For now, we will just head over to the points. Well, the league have really mixed it up this season as the pigs face two new obstacles, the 8-inch hurdle and the water obstacle as well. And you can see the results of that mix-up right here. Piggy Smalls goes straight to the top of the league and Hoshi is also another big winner from this mix-up. Ginger refuses to come lower than third and that's why she's still got a fighting chance. Please join us back here for round two and if you enjoyed the league please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell because it really helps us out.